Hello, good morning. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. This is Tanya at Sidekick Crafts. You guys, I am so excited. My colored pencils have arrived. Oh my goodness, I have glitter stuck to my hands. My colored pencils have arrived from Prismacolor and Faber-Castell. And I am so excited to try them. These are... Uh, ones that were recommended to me as top of the line and I um, am so excited to see which one I like better. Um, obviously one try isn't going to be the final answer however I thought it would be fun to bring you along and let's open up these babies. I haven't even looked yet. This is the um, the Prismacolor. This is the Premier 24 count. I got, I got uh, kind of middle of the line or not middle of the line, um, middle sized packages because I wanted to give them a try, but I didn't feel like a 12 set was going to be enough. So I got the 24 count. They look super pretty. I think I can do all the things with these. Probably don't need much more. So there's those. That's the Prismacolor. And then this is the Fabric Castell. This is the, um, how many are in here? This is also 24. This is the, these are the Polychromos Color Pastels. And it comes with the information there. Beautiful box. They're both in beautiful boxes. Who are we kidding? Look at that. So it's got information in there. Shows you kind of how to use them, how to blend them. That's kind of cool. Cool information. And these are actually, look at this. Let's see. I'm not comparing color to color, but these pencils feel a little bit wider than the others. Just a little bit. Maybe not. Maybe it's my imagination. But they all look beautiful. I love the rainbowness of this. They're gorgeous. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to color. I did some stamping. I've got two Je 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 Julie Nutting dolls here. And we're going to color them and see how they turn out. And uh, now for this, I do want to use similar colors. Excuse me, because I don't want to, um, I don't want to skew it. I want it to be, you know, which ones are brighter, which ones are bolder. The colors aren't going to be exactly the same obviously, but I want to use similar colors so it's it's fair to kind of compare. Now I don't see a pink in this set at all, but I do have a pink over here. This might be a little more difficult than I than I thought as far as matching colors because they are very different, aren't they? So, <clears throat> now the, of course these aren't in rainbow order, but we've got some yellows to oranges to some reds, to some blues, but then I've got blue over here. I wonder, does it matter if I mix them up? I don't think it does. I'm gonna move them around. So we're in similar territory here. So we've got dark blue. Is this a purple? This is a purple. And I don't have purple in this set, which is interesting. What color is this called? This is called, I don't know. Um, interesting. So we've got pinks and purples in this one and not in that one. Where would this one go? Here, maybe? This would be more red or purple. I don't know. Somewhere in the, somewhere in between. Move that over. Pink would go over there too, though. Something like that. Something like that should be in there somewhere. I don't know. Maybe there. There's a fleshy color. I don't have a fleshy color over here. So if you're looking at certain colors, you might want to look at the palette too because this one has kind of a fleshy color. This one kind of doesn't. It has pink and it has... So there's some different options for sure. Here, let's put the greens. Let's start the greens over. Actually, those are orange too. My goodness. Okay, so look. This one, these should be over here. Here's my color theory. Let's see how I how well I do. I'm kind of setting up rainbow over here. Since they didn't do that for me. 
which is not a complaint, I promise, but I like it better in that order. There's probably a picture on here how they're supposed to be, and there's a reason why they set it up that way, but I'm messing that up right now. So we're going to go... We're going to do our own rainbow. Put this back over. Put that one in there. I'm going to go to pink. Pink, and then I'm going to go to purple. And then I'm going to go into blues. The reason why I'm doing this, now this isn't necessarily how the other one is set up. However, I feel like these are more related. Those, are, And then we're going to move into the blues and greens. So these are warmer to me. If Even if I did that wrong, I've never been to art school, so forgive me if I'm wrong. But that's the way I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to go to brown, and then I'm going to go to brown, and then I'm going to go to brown. And greens should have been over there. Here, let's go over here. Let's just do it this way. We'll go backwards. Do you guys move your pencils around too? I don't know. There might be a certain order that's supposed to be in according to the box with names or something correlating. But to me, this is easier. If I'm looking for a red, I'm going to say, mm, that's lighter. No, I don't, I'm not going to look over here for red. You know what I mean? I just kind of kind of like to keep them the same. But anyway, okay. So there we go. This one's already that way. So this will help me to compare. So like right off, I can see this one and this one are similar in color. So I'm going to do a Christmas dress. How about that? Let's start coloring. They're beautiful. I think you'd want to look at, if you're purchasing, um, you want to make sure that you're getting the colors that you're looking for, of course. If a pink is required, then you want to make sure that's in there. All that good stuff. Now I'm coloring lightly. I don't, I've never used these before, so I'm just kind of seeing how how they work. I'm coloring lightly here. I'll go back in a little darker in a bit. Definitely smooth. I don't have to add a lot of pressure for color, which is nice. Now these are at a price point, I would not probably buy them for children. Maybe for a junior high, high schooler that is really into it, maybe. But not for probably younger. There's other options that would make more sense to me. I know when I was younger than that, I probably was very hard on pencils. And my art supplies but once you get to a certain age and you're really enjoying art I think you take care of your supplies a little better all right this is nice you don't have to push too hard to get some additional color on there or for shading what have you that's kind of nice so that's beautiful okay let's try let's try this one because we're comparing Now, I'm not expecting the colors to be the same. I'm not comparing the color. I'm just trying to use similar colors so that, um, you know, one doesn't look brighter simply because of the color choice that I made. This is working very smoothly, too. It's beautiful. So I'd say as far as adding it to the paper, they're both, you know, I, I love them both. I love them both. They're both working really nicely. I don't have to pressure. It's smooth. It's not streaky. I'm, I'm going out of the lines. Um, my hands aren't quite working to my specifications. Feeling a little sore this morning, my hand is. So gripping this pencil honestly is kind of hurting. So if I go out of the lines, please forgive me. It's because my hand's a little bit painful today. 
like the weather change and probably a little overuse. So the similar colors, look how rich this one is and how bright this one is. Um, I'd say my coloring technique needs a little work, but for the most part, they're beautiful. The color comes off onto the paper really well. I'm just using regular cardstock. I don't know what the weight is. It's, it's just what I have on hand. These were scraps out of my box, but um, really beautiful. Both of them. I could just be in love with both for different reasons. I'd say just by the comparison of those two colors, I'd say this, this is going to be a more earthy blend or the earthy tones that I like. This one's going to be a lot brighter. I have different sides of my personality as far as colors go. You guys may have noticed that already. Sometimes I like the, um, the grungy, dark, earthy feel, and sometimes I like the happy pink, happy-go-lucky feel. So we're going to compare it. We're going to use these two browns. I think they're the most similar as far as I can tell. Looking at the lead, not necessarily the pencil paint color. Really nice color. We'll try some blending and stuff in a little bit too, see if I can do it. Oh my goodness, my eyes. I haven't made my eye doctor appointment yet. I really need to. My eyeballs are reminding me. Yeah, these are just going on so smooth. So much different than my my junk pencils, that's for darn sure. Let's try this one. These colors are very similar, actually. They feel, the pencils feel the same in my hand. I don't feel any different. So the thickness is probably my imagination. It's probably something to do with the printing or something on it, is, is my guess. I mean, I wouldn't mind if they were bigger, but... So the printing on this one versus the printing on this one. No, that doesn't make sense. I think it's, I don't know, maybe it's the, uh, I don't know what it is. Why this one looks bigger to me. Maybe it's because of the tip. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. All right, let's see. Putting some darker color in there. Yeah, works really great. It's super smooth. Fun to use. This one, too. Yeah, as I figured. Beautiful. All right. I'm not disappointed at all yet. I don't think I'm going to be. Do you? All right, so here's the thing with this one. For skin tone, I'm gonna have to go to a brown color because I don't have a pink. Not even sort of. So let's go to, I don't know, let's, let's kind of try these out. Looking for a skin tone. I could do that one very lightly. That would be a nice skin tone. Same here. I could do that one lightly as a skin tone. I could do that one lightly as a skin tone. Okay, well, that's fair. And I could do this one lightly as a skin tone as well. So if we go really, I, I don't think you guys will be able to see it, but if I go really lightly, I think they might make nice skin tones. So I guess that's, that's not a fair thing to say that they don't have a skin tone. Um, let's look at this box and compare that. So we've got a pink, which would be something I would probably pick. This is probably the color I would pick first, just because it's, you know, similar to me. Um, but I tried the browns over there, so let's try the browns over here. That would be a difficult skin tone, but I suppose it could be. 
it's a little more red, isn't it? It's got a little bit of, like a, um, I don't know, it's got a, a red tone to it. This one could be. That one could be. You know, done correctly, I think they could be. Um, for now, I think I'm going to compare these two. Wait. Let's compare this one and this one. So we'll do the pink on this one. Or this, not the pink, but the color I used first. On this one. Because we as humans don't all look the same. But I am trying to compare colors, so it's not, it's not, anyway. I'm trying to, to do color for color as similarly as I can. So that's, that's my goal here. I'm so tempted to just come over here and do this one. <laughs> All right, and then we'll put a little shading in there because that's what I would normally do with my other pencils. Just a little. That works really nicely. Beautiful. And then I wanted to do, this one is going to be, I think, the most similar to this one. So that's the second one is, that's this one. Which really doesn't look very <clears throat> skin tone from the pencil. But, honestly, it's nice. It's believable. I'll show you guys up close in just a minute. more like my skin would look if I was wearing shorts and t-shirts and gardening during the summer. <laughs> A little more tan. Lovely. Okay. You can see the difference. Very similar. They're working out really nicely. I love I love both sets. I'm not gonna lie. My coloring isn't fantastic. Again, I'm out of the lines and um yeah. I just woke up. <laughs> I didn't just wake up. I just got up. Um, I've been awake for a while, a couple hours, but I was uh, hanging out in the bed with the dog. We were just relaxing. I'm going to do, let's see, we need shoes. I think we all know what black looks like, so I don't need to do black shoes. But my other choice would be go back to the, I guess we could do green. I mean, we're just playing, right? So, similar greens. That's gonna look putrid, but not putrid, not the color. That was rude. With the dress, who's gonna wear green? Why not? It's Christmas. It's Christmas, darn it. Which one's the closest? This one, maybe? Are these leads the closest? Probably the most similar, or would this one, this light be the closest? I think this one's more blue. Let's go with these two. We'll 
we'll swatch all the colors out when I'm done with this part. All right, so there's that one. They looked similar, but they're not at all. Interesting. So, I haven't determined much. What I've determined is I love both of them. I'm really glad I got both sets. Let's, um, let me show you up close, because that's all I'm gonna color on these for now. Um, but we'll swatch the, we'll swatch them out on the, on the back side. The cute, the colors are similar, but a little bit, lot, still a lot different. I think they're beautiful. All right, let's swatch them out really quick. Well, I actually wanted to try some blending too, didn't I? Now I don't know if I'm gonna do this right, but I kind of want to go and try something. How well do these layer? I don't know. Kind of made a purple color, didn't it? I think I'm doing this wrong. I don't know. I'll play more with my technique. All right, let's watch them out. Let's go, obviously white's white. I'm not even gonna try. We'll just go in order. Beautiful. Probably supposed to make it so you can't see where they overlap very well, huh? That's not quite the color I thought it was. That's a little bit brownie, isn't it? A little brownish. Now this is the set that Chloe wanted me to buy. She, this, this is the one that they recommended for her art school. And she really loves these. I can understand why there's mixed reviews on all on between the two. Why some people would like one set better. Than the other. They're just different. The colors are different. They both work really well. I understand with some of them, I can't remember which one, so I don't want to say, but one of them has more trouble with breakage and sharpening them. So I'll be careful with that. I know that they're made different. Um, one is wax. How does that go? One is wax and one is something else. I can't remember. These colors are gorgeous though, aren't they? Oopsie. I'm kind of curious why they were trade up in that order that they were. Probably warms and colds. And I mixed them all up. There was probably a really good reason they were mixed that way. I don't know why I just put black on green, but I did. Yeah, and they do lap nicely. I'm seeing that. All right, so there's all those colors. Hopefully you guys can see all that. Let's do the next set. 
Let's move this out of the way a little bit. That's that one. Let's do this one. Skipping white. Was that one? This is the third one. This is Watercolor Wednesday, and I'm playing with pencils. Isn't that fun? I need to get out my watercolors. I should be playing with my Tim Holtz watercolor pencils. You know what? As I'm doing this, though, I am liking how these are blending together better, a little bit better. I feel like the um, colors, as they overlap, are a little smoother until we get from purple to blue. Actually, that's nice. I'll show you guys what I mean in a minute. Or when I'm done with this. I mean, my blending skills haven't improved from one paper to the next, so it's not me. It's not something I'm doing. say on this test, on doing this, uh, these polychromos are going to be my favorite. And I'll show you why. Except for like this one. If you look at this one, you can't tell where the first color starts and the next one's, and then, or one stops and one starts. It's like a, um, they're really blended well when I go back over. You can't, it's hard to tell. There's not a straight line until you get to here, of course. But isn't that beautiful how it just kind of met mixes? On this one in comparison, even though I did it the same way, you can see almost straight lines where it changes. It doesn't, it doesn't overlap like this one does. Not or not as smoothly anyway. Some areas like this goes really well, blends into each other pretty well. This one's okay. Eh. The purples are nice, but they still you can still kind of see that line. You can see it. You can see the lines there. Even though this one's going over, you can see very well where that ends and stops and starts. There, there, there. But this one, it just kind of goes right into the next one. And again, it's not my technique. I did it the same way, and I'm not going to improve my coloring skills from one to the next. So I really like that. Even though you can see where this one is and this one is, there's this really cool color in the middle. So these are actually blending really nicely as I color over the next one. Up until you get into here, this is a little bit weird. But we're going from green to red, so I mean green to this brownish color. So 
in here too. Some of these are going to be kind of awkward. But really, as far as blending goes, I think this one wins all day long. But they're gorgeous. I, I wouldn't put one down. I think I'm happy with both. I'm so excited I have both sets. And I think they're going to be great for different purposes. The colors, I like the, the fact that this has pinks in it and purples. I do like that. This one does not. I mean, could I blend them? If I can do all this and blend these colors in here, I can probably blend some of these colors. Uh, red and white. Let's try it. I mean, let's try it. I speak it. Let's try it. Is this a good red? Let's try this red. Can I mix a red and white? I don't know. Let's try it. Would it make pink? Kind of. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of weird, but what happens if I do? Watch this. Let's see. Will it do anything? Yeah, it's changing the color. I'll show you guys in a minute. I don't think that this, that's what this is for, but it's definitely changing the color. Can you guys see it through the blues? I don't know if you can. I can see it. I don't know if you can from where you're at, from the camera, but I'm just going to color a straight white line through here. See what happens. We'll do it to the other one, too. Why not? Can you guys see that? It kind of blends it, really, more than anything, I guess. It changes the color slightly, but not significantly. I don't know if it's supposed to. I don't know. Let's try this one. That makes a much bigger, dr dramatic difference than the other one did. You can definitely see where I colored it. It's not white, but it, I, I wasn't expecting it to be white. So that's an interesting effect. I feel like that was a more of a blending as well. Can you guys see that line? So that's pretty interesting. Um, what else should I do? I think that's it you guys I'm not sure what tests I can do I think it's just about playing with them and getting used to them I think they're both beautiful beautiful sets super super excited if I had to pick one I'd tell you get both <laughs> again depends on what you're doing this one's gonna have some great um, uh, skin tones and and such a little bit more natural colors I think I, th I feel like those are more of a natural for landscapes, for faces, for for all that. But you've still got some beautiful colors for florals and and uh, and and such. But then if you want pink in there and those colors and the purples, this would be the way I'd go. So I think it comes down for me. It would come down to the colors because they both handle beautifully. They both blend. Um, as far as blending, blending. I would go with polychromos. Um, again, if you're going to be looking at your your sets now, is I believe I feel like if I did if I remember my research, I think you, they're both open stock. Maybe that you might be able to get both uh, single pencils. So you could be, of course, you get the bigger set with all the colors too, which probably has some pink and purple in there. So for these sets, though, this is it. I guess I'd pick both. I don't know. <laughs> All right, you guys. So I've got 48 new pens, beautiful pencils to play with. We're going to be seeing these more in my videos. I hope you don't mind. Um, but we'll be making some cards with them and some beautiful things. I hope you guys enjoyed this little comparison. These are my, these are my Julie Nutting dolls. I think they've turned out pretty cute. 
even though I'm not fully awake yet. I'll uh, probably be able to use them on a card. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me in this little adventure. I uh, can't wait to be using these pencils for sure. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.